Hello everyone, we welcome you to our show, Breathe Better. Today, we will talk about a disease, which is not a glamorous one, but it kills you slowly, agonizingly ravishing your lungs, stops you breathing, makes you cough out blood. Look, your friends and family will shun you, because it's infectious, it is the perfect assassin, all it needs is just a cough and millions of infectious droplets released and all of you could be infected. I see you collectively holding your breath now. Relax, it's safe to breathe. You probably would have figured out that it's tuberculosis or TB I'm speaking about. Due to the recent agony, influenza and COVID gets all the attention. But TB is tiptoeing in the backstage, killing 9 people every hour. And this is not something which came up recently. It's been there since decades. Last 200 years or so, tuberculosis has been responsible for the death of thousands and millions of human beings. That's a lot of zeros. And let me tell you that the death toll from the tuberculosis alone by far outnumbers those from influenza, HIV, uh, malaria, cholera, smallpox, all of them put together. TB flies through Bombay's crowded local trains, ticketless, invisibly infecting thousands of people with millions of coughs. And we are a nation of coughers. You hear the cacophony every day. It is said that TB anywhere is TB everywhere because one untreated case of TB infects 10 to 15 new people every year. It turns out that treating normal TB is relatively easier. That is, your doctor will give you 4 drugs for 6 months and that will cure you for 95% of times. But if you take the wrong doses, wrong drugs, you do not take your uh, medications regularly, you are not uh, consistent with your drugs, you skip your doses, you do not follow up with your doctor, these are the times that it can be very difficult for you to treat. That is, the drugs you were taking won't work now, as the TB bacilli which were sensitive to the drug you were taking have now mutated to a drug resistant form. To understand that, the treatment which was there for the 6 months only will now be effective for 2 years. Plus, it will cause, cause you thousands of rupees and uh, a lot of medications and tablets plus 250 painful injections. Today, on March 24, Robert Koch discovered mycobacterium tuberculosis, the microbe which is responsible for the causation of TB. And so, today is observed as World Tuberculosis Day. To combat and prevent this harmful bacilli, National Tuberculosis Elimination Program better known as NTEP, was launched in year 2020 with a mission to end TB in 2000, till 2025 by reducing the mortality to less than 90% and shorting down the incidence rate to less than 80%. Current scenario of incidence rate is around 188 cases of tuberculosis per 1 lakh population with an astonishing case fatality rate of 20% of total cases. That is, around 20 cases, 20% 20 of people are dying from the tuberculosis. India TB report 2022 states that there is an 18% decline as compared to the global average of 11% which keeps India as the, at the 36th position in terms of incidence rates. Also on March 24, India started in 2022 Indian TB Genomic Surveillance Consortium for genomic sequencing of the TB bacilli in order to identify the various mutations. Various DP3 centers have been associated with national task force in order to do uh, di early diagnosis and management of the drug resistant T. You see, it was not so easy way back a uh, few years ago. That is, that diagnosing the treatment, uh, diagnosing the TB at first place was very difficult. Uh, let far alone the treatment. Uh, you see, whenever you presented, when a patient uh, presented with a history of cough and blood, the doctor used to take the sputum sample and send it to the laboratories, which took around a whole lot of weeks and months just to diagnose the TB at first place, let alone uh, starting the initiating the treatment. You see, there was a liquid uh, culture based methods, microscopy, you needed to uh, examine 1000 uh, oil immersion fields just to get a diagnosis of TB. So, uh, with the evolution of uh, newer modalities such as CBNART or we know as TrueNART, which is currently the investigation of choice in diagnosing a case of tuberculosis, uh, it has become a lot easier and quicker just uh, to diagnose it, uh, tuberculosis and hence we can start the therapy as soon as possible. CBNART, it's a very amazing thing like uh, with a turnaround time of just around 1 hour and 45 minutes and requiring just 2 ml of your sputum, it helps to get the quickest results possible. 
Hence, it is indicated for all the cases of tuberculosis and the drug therapy can be initiated as soon as possible. So, if you are having any symptoms of persistent cough, that is a cough for more than two weeks, blood in your sputum, weight loss, uh, night sweats and fever, do report to your doctor and get yourself started. You do not need to worry about it. It's relatively easy. It's nice to treat. You need to treat your, uh, take your drugs regularly. Also, the mothers who, uh, do need to keep one thing in mind that if you are having a child who is less than one year of age, make sure that you have your child vaccinated with the BCG vaccine. Do check out in your nearest health centers if he or she is vaccinated with the BCG vaccine, which is applicable to the child less than one year of age. Uh, that will prevent uh, him or her to contract the uh, bacilli in the future. And also, if uh, if so, he uh, contracts it as well, the complications that develop from tuberculosis may be avoided efficiently. To improve compliance and keep in check with the follow-ups, we have a system called Nexion, meaning NTV. It is an online software system for TB developed under NTEP in collaboration with WHO. It is used by various health functionaries both in the public and private sector to register cases under their care, monitor the treatment adherence, record the treatment details and to transfer cases between different health providers. Also, this acts as a TB surveillance system which enables to report various surveillance data to the government of India. Now, some of them have the myths that the treatment uh, cost of the tuberculosis is very expensive that will, uh, it will get difficult for the poor to get themselves treated. But let me tell you, the treatment therapy of tuberculosis is relatively easier for the poor as well. As the government of India has launched various incentives for the nutritional aid of the tuberculosis patients. One such is Nixshire Potion Yojana, which is giving around uh, 500 uh, rupees, uh, rupees 500 per month is given to all the patients who are adhering to the tuberculosis treatment regimen provided by the doctors and the government of India. It is a direct benefit transfer scheme, that is, your Aadhaar card which is linked to your bank account, the 500 rupees will be deposited every month till the time you are having uh, the, taking the drugs or you are adhering to the treatment. Also, Ayushman Bharat, which is currently uh, uh, linked up with many health and welfare centers all across the country, is also providing financial aid to all the patients receiving the therapy. Now, let's talk about 99 dots. It is a simple and low-cost solution accessible by all the TB patients. Patient medication is packaged in custom envelopes. Along with it, the dosage instructions are given and there is a series of hidden numbers in behind each pill. Now, whenever the patient takes the required dose of medication, he or she is exposed to a hidden number. Now, this hidden number, uh, which was uh, there with the medication, this will uh, reveal a number which is completely unpredictable to the patient. Now this reveal number will complete a phone number. That is the first part of the number will be printed on the front page of the envelope. So this completed number, what the patient has to do, he or she has to give a free missed call to this number. With this real time information, we can plan reminders, incentives and additional counselling for those patients with low adherence. Another information technology innovative we have is MERM, that is Medicine Event Reminder Monitoring Systems. It, is, uh, it consists of a GPS enabled box containing the required dose of medications packed according to their with schedules in it. Uh, now what happens is that whenever the patient takes the required dose of medication, a green light buzzes in it and the same is communicated to the TB portal, which is Nixion. When a patient does not open the box, an alarm will buzz in order to remind the patient to take their medications and an alert will be initiated to the Nixshay portal if the patient does not take their medication as per their schedule. This will help the supervisor to monitor the drug uh, compliance, that is if uh, he or she is sticking to his therapy or not. In case uh, there is some irregularity, uh, then the supervisor may call or contact the patient asking him to take his or her drugs regularly. Let's come forward and take steps to eliminate TB. Yes, yes we, we can, can end TB. TB. Thank you.